Hello, my name is Peter Raymer, and today we're going to look at lookup methods in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations forms. So inside of forms, it's kind of a key concept to any relational database that you want to be able to select a unique identifier that points to a record on another form. Uh, consider a sales order. When you're entering in a sales order, you need to specify the customer record. Uh, it's really great if instead of having to memorize the customer ID, you can click on a drop down and select from a list, a long list of all the customers with and see their customer ID and name. Similarly, on the sales lines, section of a sales order. You need to enter in the item ID. Uh, instead of having to memorize all of the item IDs in the system, which there could be tens of thousands, um, having a drop down where you can filter and look up by name as well as other properties is really helpful. Um, this drop down is called a lookup or what we refer to as a lookup. So we're going to look at this. Let's start with an example. Um, so in this example, I actually have a uh, vehicle form where I can enter in a vehicle ID, a description, a vehicle type. We're going to just ignore that as well as a make and a model for a vehicle. So the make is the brand such as Ford or Honda or Toyota. And then the model is the specific model underneath that brand. Um, so a lookup is this drop down functionality right here where we click this drop down arrow and then we can see inside of the make table all the various options. If I go over to my make form, you can see this is where I entered in um, my different options. If I add another option in here, such as Acura, and then I save this record, I should be able to come back to my vehicle record right here and see that in the list. This is really, really useful. It helps maintain um, data integrity because if I just try to type in some gibberish and try to save it, the system is going to let me know and say, hey, this value does not exist in the make table. It's, it's not a valid value. So let's go and delete that. Well, okay, I've got this make ID set up with a drop down already, but this model ID, I don't have a drop down. Uh, so let's look at how we can create that in the system. Really, there's uh, two different ways. We can use relations on tables to get the system to automatically show that drop down for us, or we can override the lookup um, method in code and there's some more advanced scenarios of why we might want to do that. But let's first look at how we can make the system automatically give us that drop down. So if I actually go to um, our RSM vehicle copy table is really what I'm looking in. I have a data source RSM vehicle copy and this data source the primary table is RSM vehicle copy. So let's go ahead and look at that. Inside of my table, I have already a relation for the RSM make table. And this allows that drop down to work like we saw. The one that's not working is the model. Um, we didn't get a drop down for that uh, field. So the way we do that is we can just simply add a relation and this gives us our lookup for free. So if I right click on relations, select new relation, I get a new relation node. I'll go ahead and type in RSM model. Then I'm going to look at the properties or right click and select properties if you don't see this window already. I need to then go ahead and set the related table associated with this node. The name by itself is just a name. I need to tell it the name of the table. In this case it's the same thing, RSM model and as a best practice we name these the same. We name the name after the table. Okay, now that I've got the table set, I can actually right click on this relation and say new normal. Um, we'll, we won't get into these others uh, during this uh, video. So we'll say normal. What's going to happen is we get a new node where we get to specify the two fields from this table and the related table that relate to each other. So here I'm going to say I want the uh, model ID 
on this table to relate to the model ID on the related table. I can always use this um, kind of view, this display, to make sure that I did it correctly and specified the right fields on each table. I can also see that right here. That's really useful. Now that I've set that up, um, that's half of what I need to do. The other thing that I need to do is I need to go over to the RSM model table. That's my related table that I'm trying to add it to. I'm going to expand the field groups and look at auto lookup. Um, in this case, the auto lookup controls what columns are going to show in the lookup form. So I've actually already dragged um, fields over to this lookup. You can actually just multi-select them here and drag them in. I already did that, so I don't need to do that again. Or you can right click and say new field and specify the name of the field through the properties. I find it a lot easier to just drag the fields in. Now that we've done those two things, add the uh, table relation and the auto lookup, we can actually just build um, this uh, code and then see that that drop down on our form is going to work. Now that our code has compiled and we've come back and clicked uh, reload on our browser to pick up the latest changes of our form, we can test out our change. If we look now, we get this drop down arrow underneath the model ID field. I can click the drop down and actually see all of the related records. I can see that it's showing all of the columns that are in my auto lookup. Um, this is really great. This is super easy to use. We didn't have to add any X plus plus code to make this uh, lookup work. I really appreciate you watching. If you like the video, click the like button. I also invite you to push the subscribe button as well. If there's other topics you would like to see a video on, please post in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.